after we've finished with our active dynamic warm-up and we've already done some of our jump work and our plyometric work to set us up for an acceleration day, then we go into some form mechanic drill that's called acceleration line drill. This line drill was actually developed by a colleague of mine named Vince Anderson from Texas A&M University. Uh, what this does is it really focuses on applying proper mechanics, applying the foot in the proper position so that it sets our rhythm up every time we sprint down the track so that we're always doing the same rhythm, the same um, type of mechanics to make sure that as we get faster, more explosive, we uh, are able to run a lot faster down the road. It's still, the, the main objective here is to set you up from the beginning of your race to have proper mechanics so that later in the race everything comes together. So I'm going to have Ray start from a standing position. We call this our two-point position. This is how we start our season at the beginning of the year is we start everything from a standing position. We make sure that we set up with one foot right on the first line. So our first line is actually the yellow triangle here. And we start with our toe that extends over that first line. Then our measurements are designed to, to gradually increase as we build down the track. We always tap our heel, just like we do in our warm-up, slide our foot out, and then get that front knee bent so that we put majority of our weight over that front leg. We always want to make sure we start with our body in a leaning position. Now, as we do this, we're not just leaning at the waist. We want to lean from the ankle and the shin so that as we fall forward into our acceleration position, we're going to be able to drive out into the proper angles that we want to achieve. Our main objective here is to swing that back leg through in front of your body and then drive back so that your foot lands underneath your hip. That's going to push you forward. So we want to continue to build that rhythm as we run down the track. So what you're going to see here is a low ankle recovery. So the foot comes through the ankle, swings through high, and then drives back, kind of like a hammer hammering back on a nail. So I'll have Ray go ahead and demonstrate on the first one. Nice smooth rhythm, just lean into it, get the arms moving, and step back. Good. So as you see, he's displacing his body over the line, so his hips are actually over the line. The reason that the foot lands on the line is because we want to make sure that that foot it lands right underneath our hip. We want to make sure that we're focusing on hip displacement, not just swinging and landing the foot out in front of our body. Yeah, our foot might land on the line, but we're not in a very good position. So our main objective here is to displace the body so the hips are over top of the line, and then our foot swings back and lands underneath our hips, which happens to be where the line is set up. As you can see, the lines gradually separate longer and longer and longer to account for the longer stride pattern that we have as we build down the track.